it just contradicted itself. I gave you a specific example where a man had a privilege in a situation that a woman didn't. Right. You are saying, yes, there's multiple options to to have abortions to not keep the baby whatever i'm saying that i can't ejaculate in anybody and impregnate them that is the privilege or the choice that a man has that, that i do not that, right. because you're we hit the rewind button for me somebody spin the block yeah. back. right Thank you. <laughs> because what you first said was there is nothing that a man can right. choose to do that a woman can't i'm i'm quoting you Which now you're talking about a biological budget. difference you're talking about a biological no. difference versus, that a right. makes, uh, versus a right i t i said right and privilege okay. from from this uh, conversation, oh it was very clearly apparent to me that you guys were not listening because when I asked you to uh, yeah. <laughs> say what the, what was said prior, oh, you guys were not yeah. able to articulate what I said. We, we had multiple conversations. However, however, that however, oh. however, I was able to clearly articulate back what you said to me. Yes, so I was uh, listening. Mm -hmm. However, you guys were not. Right. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we can say what we want to say, but you cannot have a healthy discussion with someone right. unless you actively listen to what they're saying i'm right. writing down everything you guys are saying right so i'm listening okay okay right i attacked every single one of your points not you even though you feel like you're attacked and quite frankly the wage gap does not exist Ooh. and i systematically debunk that it does not exist yeah, oppression yeah. is that you're trying to say i'm a black woman and i'm being oppressed and it's fucked up cap but you you actually have more of an advantage wow. you have you have an advantage it's just an okay opinion. It's See, you, but no it's not an opinion because it doesn't affect him if you go okay. back if if you Yo, this podcast is really crazy. No, it's not because it really everything is. <laughs> it is funny. because because not only not only do you pick the topic of conversation, but you also I didn't pick. You brought up the wage you, gap. You, you bait, brought it up. You bait the conversation with questions that you've already decided the answer to, regardless of what I have. The girls to say. disagree with your ass. The chat asked the Other question. People disagree with you. Yeah. Also, the chat. It's your yeah. Yeah. The chat I'm, saying, the question. I'm saying that the way that chat. you're the way you're not even receiving what I'm saying because you've already made up in your mind how you're going to perceive right. this world. So yes, everything that I spit out is going to sound like horseshit to you because you were never open to listening to it I in the first mm -hmm. place. Extremely close to you were listening you were to find a mistake extremely. not to hear what I had to say. Oh I was we're all good. Extremely close. To to every okay. single thing you said. All right, I'm done. Well, okay. I mean, yeah, I'll well, get off this. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah. if she wants to leave, that's fine. All right. Oh I, I mean, like I said, if you can't articulate your points with fact versus emotion, then it's not. It's not emotion, but it's no. It was point, emotion. You had more issue with the way I spoke to you the, versus and what I. You draw the line because it seems like they can't hear you if you're going to talk. You got talking to No, no. I'm just letting you know that they like, can't hear you. I'm. I'm just letting you know that at some point you have to kind of draw the line with. What, like I feel like right now it's like I'm entertaining this game of sexism in this podcast not having an actual like meaningful conversation because you would rather be like be right and like be like logic 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 without actually discussing all the elements of reality in these conversations mm -hmm. we cannot talk mm -hmm. about sexism without yeah. talking about intersection intersectionality granted I feel like you're picking out the pieces that are going to fit to what you have to say because you've already decided in your mind that you're right regardless of what i had to say it doesn't matter what i said i've watched Question these for you who brought up a wage gap i brought up the wage gap because you said that there was nothing that women there was nothing that men have that women don't correct that came before yeah that came, that came after, after. Right, that came after, after. It, it was because you said that women, um, they they make the choices on the on the careers that they choose. Oh yeah, yeah. and yeah. then and then I said they weren't welcomed in those spaces. I still stand on that. Yeah, and, and that's and that's fine. And my argument to that was you actually your thing was we're not welcome. You said I don't feel welcome in the spaces, mm -hmm. and I'm simply saying if guys make fun or jokes or whatever, that's how men operate. It is what it is. When you go in a male space, they're going to treat you like the guys. So you can't complain about equality. Right. And then you get the equality and then complain about said equality and want preferential treatment to be treated like a lady. You cannot be treated. In other words, equality and being treated as a lady cannot coexist. But did I ever once say I need to be treated like a lady <laughs> or well, treated with some like, respect? I don't, I don't believe that there's there's equality between genders because I still believe we live in a patriarchal society. Mm -hmm. I believe in intersectionality and I believe sexism exists. Mm -hmm. If you it does. OK, so for you, reality is sexist. Right. And we and, can't change that. No, see, that's the difference between me and you because I believe in progress and you believe in just accepting things as they are. Question for you then, if you think sexism shouldn't exist. Oh, wow. So should women play in the NBA? Women There's have a WNBA. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Do I believe that women in the WNBA should get the same treatment, sponsorships, pay, and, and preference, special but preference that men get in the NBA? We yes. We support them though, like the men. 
Do you watch the NBA? I do. NBA? I went to women's NBA? basketball games when I was in college. I don't watch either. I know people. I know people in the WNBA as well. I don't know if you guys know. They ain't dunking. So I mean, I'm sorry for that. I mean, you do realize that there is no bar from allowing women to play in the NBA, correct? Correct. There was a woman drafted in the NBA, and she does. You're absolutely right. So here's the thing. She did. Sexism exists a lot of the time to benefit women. Men don't really benefit from sexism. Women do. It allows you to get into the military. It allows for affirmative action. No, no, this is a fact. I need my phone. No, I'm... Oh, so you want to listen when he's talking, huh? I listen to everything you say. To say that men don't benefit from sexism when they have literally created the patriarchal society that sexism exists in is absolutely absurd. There is a reason why men hold all government positions. There's a reason why men are all of the richest people in the world. There's a reason why... Like, Actually, women are, are. There's more percentage of rich women now than there are. The men. top ten richest people I, in the world are more women. Gotcha, bitch. The top. We're talking about the top ten richest people I'm in the saying, world. I'm saying the richest people in the world. There is literally like a top ten chart, and they are all white men. Okay. Yeah. Well, it depends. Are you talking about with, the wealthiest people? Or are you talking about in general who makes more money? Right. No, Two I'm not. Things. I'm talking about the wealthiest people in the world. I'm talking about the people that Whoa. actually make the everyday decisions that impact our lives. That's crazy. Because that so because I thought right. Rihanna was a billionaire. Now I'm secret. just saying she's not the richest. Though. Right. Have you heard of yeah. Warren Buffett? Yeah, I, I Warren Buffett. I, but it doesn't matter. You're, you're talking about the richest people in the world. It, you're but but it, uh, being a being a it's an uneven power distribution. That's my point. There is an uneven power distribution between men and women in this world. But you can't change it. Okay, you can't change it. I don't think like you. I'm progressive and I believe in change. So when How I are you going to change it? Having conversations like these. Right. This isn't I mean, going to do shit. Well, that's what you're doing. It brings awareness. awareness. One mic. One mic. One mic. One mic. Because there's a couple issues here. Number one, you keep complaining about the patriarchy. We don't know. Here's the thing. The reason why the patriarchy exists is because it works. The patriarchy, you're looking at the negatives. What you're not looking at is the positives. The fact that you have clean water. The fact that you have infrastructure, we have apartment buildings, nice cameras, all these things that were created by men and a patriarchy. We don't know what a matriarchy can do. And you know what? There's no matriarchy that stood the test of time. Can you name one? We've had matriarchies throughout history. And why is there no history written on them? Because they were destroyed by men. The reality is this. Patriarchies exist to protect women because matriarchies do not work. And there's no history to show a matriarchy standing the test of time. Who started all the wars? So, all the wars are. What are we being okay, protected from? I mean, from? if we're gonna, okay, <laughs> you could say men started the wars, wars, but why did they start the wars? Tell me. Yeah. For power. For power Resources. to protect women. But protect us from what? Protect women from what? Where is your you statistics for this, sir? Because like, when men were, were the going textbooks. out to war, they definitely <laughs> when 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 men were going out to war, their we women were being were attacked. Being, being women stayed home. They didn't fight. We was holding but they were down, still though. being attacked from My other. My question is: the patriarchy is protecting women from what? Right. From other men. So the men, so so I don't think y'all also benefit from that shit. So <laughs> men run the world to protect women from men, but men hold that power that controls what we do. This is why you have a gun it. to protect yourself from other people that please, have guns. Please, exactly. this is what it is. Fresh. Unfortunately, men are comment, physically before. superior to women. Yes. So oh, therefore, you are not you. capable of defending uh, yourself I'm against a man. All right. So y'all exist to protect us. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a biological fact. They got a point. This is a biological fact. Men are physically superior to women. You guys cannot defend yourself against an able-bodied man. Therefore, you need an able-bodied man to protect you from another able-bodied man. Just like I have a gun to protect myself against other people that may have guns. That's why power, uh, powerful countries have nukes. Mm -hmm. You don't have to necessarily use it, but you need to have it there to protect yourself. It's insurance. Matt. Now, going back to what you're saying, sexism is reality. But reality is sexist. Now. Like mm -hmm. I told you before, sexism benefits women immensely because if we did not have sexism women would not be allowed to play sports etc because they would have to compete with who men and y'all can't so Point. you can't you can't get mad at sexism when it benefits you when it uh when it benefits men and then get mad at it when it doesn't benefit you because women enjoy a lot of benefits from sexism 